Eric Rossi, the guy with the eye. I basically ran into something that was released today, and thanks to a couple posts that I saw, a new camera is being released by Panasonic. Now, what camera is this? This is the Panasonic uh, Lumix DMC FZ200, which is replacing a camera that was its predecessor that was released last year. Now, this camera it's coming in at a time around where mirrorless cameras are, you know, the huge hype, and entry level DSLRs are, you know, becoming very affordable. And this is basically an advanced, I'd say, an advanced point and shoot that Panasonic's putting out, like the product before, but. It's really beefed up on steroids, and it looks really, really cool. And one of the main things with these super zoom point-and-shoot cameras is to keep the cost down with these zooms, you have to lower the aperture and the small. I mean, the smaller the apertures get as you zoom in, basically to keep the size and and the cost down. Now, this thing looks really, really cool, and the main thing I'm gonna say towards the end is the price, but. It might be worth it. I'm really excited to see something like this, and especially more than a still standpoint, but even a video standpoint, and I'll explain why. But why does this seem attractive, and why is it a good time to release it? Basically, it's attractive because it looks like a DSLR. It still has the characteristics of kind of a point-and-shoot, but it really looks like a, a DSLR, and especially like it's old Panasonic. Uh, it's replacing the, the old Panasonic's the FZ150, and as I said, it was released last year. But the greatest thing about this camera, but as I said, it's going to come with a price, is the fact that it shoots, uh, its lens is Leica made, it's it's like Leica badge, and it has an f2.8 across the entire zoom. This means the aperture does not get smaller as you zoom in. And the, it's basically a 24 times zoom, it's a 25 to 600 millimeter lens. And it's a 2.8 all the way across. So it's 600 millimeters. You're shooting at a 2.8. It's going to be a heavy camera. I can already tell. The price doesn't get released for another 30 days, I feel. I'm going to be on the Panasonic website. But, wow, that is awesome. 25 to 600, 2.8 through. Holy crap. Seriously, that's great. It's 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 like label like a point and shoot it's just exciting it's labeled like a point and shoot but it's like a dslr it's really really cool but besides that which is one of the biggest features it has a 12.1 megapixel sensor it shoots at 12 frames per second which is outstanding its battery life is about like 540 picks uh the iso range is 100 to 3200 obviously you're not going to be sure how it's going to shoot in low light but it also has raw and jpeg capability uh, it's got the swivel screen, and it's got a hot shoe mount where you can put a mic, a remote shutter, or even an external flash, and it has some certain ones that made for that. So, what is the biggest thing I want to talk about besides the F2.8 Leica lens? It's going to be its video. At 1080p, what do you usually get? 24 frames a second. Uh, in, in newer cameras, Canon, especially like the D3200, uh, 3, you get 30 frames a second at 1080p, which is great you are now going to get 60 frames per second in 1080p HD video. It has not been done much. So something like this, and once again, this is where I'm thinking the price is going to rise up. Wow. Even from a video standpoint. Once again, I'm not sure how it's going to do in low light, but just for something like this, if you want to do YouTube videos or just small little stuff, wow, outstanding. And even better yet, if you're a big video guy like I tend to be too, at 720p, where you usually get the 60 frames per second, double that. 120 frames per second, still HD. Uh, it's an AVC HD format or MPEG-4. But overall, whew, I I am blown away by this camera. I I would I'm thinking I would love this in my bag if I could afford it. And that's why I said the main downfall is going to be. It's it's going to be heavier, but that's fine because you know I already have the full frame heavy body. But the price tag is going to be high on it. I would be shocked if it's under twelve hundred U.S. dollars. Highly shocked. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, as I said, the price doesn't get released for about another thirty days or twenty nine days from uh, from the time this video is posted. What do you guys think? Let me know. Comment below. Uh, tell me what features you like about the camera. Or if, if I missed something, let me know. I'm pretty sure I hit all the the pretty cool stuff. But yeah, what do you feel about the, the 25 to 600 millimeter zoom, 2.8 all the way through, and the video 1080p, 60 frames a second, 720 at 12, <coughs> sorry, at uh, 120 frames per second. Ah, please subscribe, like the video. Yep, definitely let me know your thoughts below.
Eric Rossi, the guy with the eye. Enjoy.